Turkey has unveiled plans for its first ever aircraft carrier, the Mugium, an ambitious project aimed at boosting its naval power. The carrier will reportedly feature a ski jump launch system, a 50 aircraft capacity, and a mix of manned and unmanned fighter jets. Turkey is taking a massive, ambitious step to engineer an indigenous aircraft carrier capable of projecting power, launching fighter jets, and even operating drones from its flight deck. If successful, Mugium could strengthen Turkey's strategic presence in the Black Sea, providing NATO with a valuable deterrent against Russia. An initial mock-up of the carrier, the Mugium project, was shown publicly in February of 2024 at the Istanbul Naval Shipyard. Naval news details some available specs emerging from Turkish descriptions of the ship, which reportedly include an optimum hull form designed for seakeeping, stability, and maneuverability. The design, refined and tested through various computer simulations, is also engineered with a quieter noise signature and more efficient fuel consumption. It is not clear how advanced Turkish engineers are with digital engineering. Yet, cutting-edge computer simulations can closely replicate the performance parameters of weapon systems and combat platforms. Turkey is quite vocal that this carrier will be 100% Turkey-built, with complete construction taking place at its own shipyard. This development would signify a massive breakthrough step forward for the country. The Mugium mock-up shows three runways and a ski jump-like fighter jet takeoff, yet Naval News says Turkish engineers are already working on an indigenous catapult system, with a reported capacity of carrying as many as 50 aircraft comprised of both drones and manned aircraft. The Turkish carrier will launch a naval version of Tai's Herjet light attack aircraft, Tai's Ankai drone jet fighter, the TB-3 Yukov and Kizilelma drones. For its self-defense capabilities, Mugium will be armed with a 32-cell, 8x4, Imidlas Vertical Launching System, VLS, and Fogoktanis Close-In Weapon Systems. Additionally, 6A Selsun 25mm Stop Remote Weapon Systems will provide close-range defense mainly against asymmetric threats. Naval News states, Turkey is a NATO member. Turkish coastline stretches entirely across the Black Sea southern border, and the country controls access to the Black Sea through the Bosporus Strait and the Dardanelles. Turkish coastline stretches entirely across the Black Sea southern border, and the country controls access to the Black Sea through the Bosporus Strait and the Dardanelles. This gives Turkey tremendous strategic and geopolitical influence, given that multiple NATO countries, including Ukraine, border the Black Sea. With instant and immediate access to the Black Sea, a Turkish carrier could bring tremendous advantages to NATO. Should Turkey operate with an unambiguous loyalty to the NATO alliance, its carrier would introduce an extremely significant deterrent against Russia and offer substantial protection to Romania and Bulgaria.